Well, for these healthy breakfast ideas to start your day right, today we're sharing four easy recipes, all full of nutritious ingredients as we continue our Real Good Food series all this week on the show. Amy Ross Kelly is joining me with the how-to on how to prep these yummy breakfast ideas, and I'm told all of them using one kitchen appliance. We are just using a waffle iron today. How fun! You know, I love using a waffle iron because it heats up quickly. Yes. You can walk away. I I don't think you can burn anything on it, even if you leave it there for several minutes. And <laughs> you cook both sides simultaneously. What could be quicker? The cooking is happening while you are doing you one, two, do three around the kitchen. You can do anything you want. Yes. yes. And these breakfast ideas go beyond waffles, though, we should say. Yes. I'm going to talk about things we can cook in there without being a waffle. Okay. What's breakfast so, idea number one? Let, let me just start with cracking an egg right on my little mini one. Right into the waffle yeah, iron. Yeah, and you don't even have to break the yolk. Most people don't even know, but this will cook before we're done. You sprayed it in advance. I did, uh -huh. or you could use a little butter. And that's another um, reason I like the waffle iron too, is you don't need a lot of grease to cook mm -hmm. as you would on a skillet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, the egg is going. Could so I add to that egg if I wanted to? I'm gonna add a piece oh. of cheese. And you oh. know what? It doesn't stick to the top either. Look at so you. So it's gonna be delicious. This is magic in the kitchen, okay. Yes. And then next we have a classic um, piece of French toast. Why have I never done French toast in a waffle French iron? French toast in a waffle iron is so easy and so good. I'm gonna put everything we're gonna make right in this same I'm, little My mind thing. is blown and it shouldn't be that simple and it makes sense, but we don't yeah. do it. Yeah, so yeah, French toast, okay. it works well. All right. I also have, um, you can do like a little omelet or, um, or just like some eggs and veggies. Okay, this was my question. Can you add, yeah, add to the egg yeah, mixture? Yeah, and I love, I love red peppers and green spinach just because it's so pretty. Okay. So you just, oh, I you touched okay? it. I'm yep. sorry, do you need a rag? What can no, I do? No, 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 I'm fine. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's our little egg. And then I also have, um, hash browns. Oh my so you goodness. can do hash browns in here. Stop it. I do like, okay, so I've done it just with cooking spray, but I like it with a little butter because uh -huh. the hash browns get nice and crispy. And they'll so, pop out okay? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and the more you pack it, the more it'll stick together. So it will become just kind of a... It'll just be like a hash brown. Okay. Yes. All right. Then my last one, and before I put that one on, let me let, show you the egg so I can put this cheese on top. Here's our beautiful top. egg. And the cheese, once it gets nice and crispy and hot... How is that not going to stick? You'll, well, it has to cook long enough. So uh -huh. I timed it this morning. It was about 90 seconds. Okay. Um, if it's if you take it out too soon, the sh the cheese will still be ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. Yeah. But if you wait till it gets crispy, it doesn't. I'm gonna be trying this in yeah. my own kitchen. This is awesome. Okay. Okay, my last one. This is our favorite um, recipe, but it is just equal parts cottage cheese, egg whites, and oats. Oh. But I added a little um, cocoa powder. Okay. So, so this becomes what? Kind that, of a... That's just a regular waffle, but it's a high protein and low calorie waffle because you've got the cottage cheese, the egg whites. Okay. So we've got all four things here. Uh-huh. They're gonna cook while we finish this little breakfast sandwich. These minis are so convenient too. We have a few of them. Yet. Yeah, and it is fun, but it does take longer to cook if you're cooking for a yeah. large family. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit at a time. Last Christmas they had a some sort of, I'm sure, mega flash shell and I invested in like five Christmas ones. So you had the snowman oh, and the Christmas fun. tree and the snowflake and we yes. lined them up and the kids got a kick out of it. Oh, so. I love that. Okay, so let me... You're gonna be like, you told me it wouldn't stick. See, oh, look it comes at that! Out pretty clean off a the top. A cheesy egg that you're gonna put on a Such biscuit. Such a cheesy egg, and it is okay. Delicious. That looks delicious. Yeah. And so convenient. It's like an at-home. I don't want to say it, but you know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I won't say it in your presence. I do. I do. <laughs> so let's just take a look at this. So. Oh my goodness. Now we have. I'd, I'd cook that a little sure. bit longer, obviously. Hash browns. All these things. An omelet. We have a high. A low calorie, high protein waffle, yep. and then this was and our a French toast. French toast, all yes. in the waffle iron. Amy, thank you so much. Yes, thanks for having Innovative me. Innovative uses for a gadget we all know, love.
have and already use, now we can use it a little bit more and fun recipe variations for your breakfast as well. Amy, where can we get more ideas from you? I'm just at Health Beat and on Instagram and a website. Health Beat, two E's, right? Two E's, the two vegetable E's. beet. I remember, we'll meet yes. you there. Thank you so much. Thank you.